What's going on, Crybaby family? What's going on? Guys, I got a video for y'all today. I want to show you how to buy fishing equipment on a budget. We at Walmart today, and I'm, a, I'm gonna show you how I started out in the beginning when I was a very cheap dude. I was very cheap. I'm not saying you cheap, but I was cheap. And I wanted to buy fishing equipment at the bare minimum of what I could do. But, so we're gonna go through rod, reels, line, tackle, I want to get you set up all the way buying on a budget at Walmart. This is what this video is going to be. So let's go into it. Ain't no time to waste no time. All right, so guys, a lot of y'all know about Shakespeare. Shakespeare is a uh, staple brand. It's been around for a long time. I started out using Shakespeare rods. This is a seven foot light action Shakespeare rod and, and I advise you to get a two-piece rod it makes it easier for traveling whether you're putting it in and out your car or in and out your boat it'll make it much easier for your life one piece they tend to break more because you have to keep them all stretched out but this Shakespeare rod it's, it's a little wimpy because it's a light action uh, yeah light action rod and so your tip won't be as fast as a medium light or a fast action uh, rod. But it is a very good starter rod and it starts out at $16.96. So right now, you're already saving a couple of bucks. But if you want another option, Berkeley has a stiffer option for you. And this is a uh, Cherrywood HD Berkeley rod right here. Let y'all see that if you like that. And so this one, they don't tell the action on here. Well, it's a medium, yeah. Seven foot medium rod, so it's a little stiffer. The tip is gonna be much faster. So that hook set, you know, bam, you can, if you got bad reflexes, you're gonna be able to deliver with this rod versus that uh, light action rod. But if you like them whippy, that, that Shakespeare will definitely do the job for you. So. Berkeley seven footer and then also Walmart has they carry B&M as well so if you're out in the creek fishing off the bank and you need to really reach out and touch them they have this uh let's see if y'all can see it y'all might not be able to see the whole thing but it's a 10 foot rod let me break it down for you you got a 10 foot jigging rod so you can use this if you're fishing from the bank fishing from the boat you can do it all it's very versatile And oh, I forgot to tell you, the Berkeley rod runs $22.96. But the B&M rod, it is very, very whippy as y'all can see, very whippy. And so I'm guessing this is a light, light action or ultra light or something like that. And I'm not seeing the action on here, but I would guess it would be a light action jigging rod. Me personally, I, I don't like a, a rod this this whippy. That's not gonna be one on my choice list right there. I, would, I wouldn't buy this, me personally, but you might like that, you know, whippy. So that's an option for you right there. $34.88. Let's roll on down the street. Well, no, let's back it up. It's coming back this way. All right, so we're gonna move on over to, we're gonna move on, move on over to the, uh, the reels. You got your Shimano right here. This Shimano is a phenomenal reel, phenomenal reel. Now at my Walmart, let me get a better one where it's not covering up stuff. At my Walmart, they don't have a 1000 series. I would recommend a 1000 series Shimano Sienna and it is $29.96. Come on in. $29.96 right there, okay. Shimano Sierra Sienna 500 go for the 1000 much better the ball bearings and everything oh that'll be it'd be a more durable rod that little 500 you get too many fish on there you're gonna burn that bad boy up you're gonna burn it up and so $29 Shimano is an option then you have another one that I saw down here that's uh, a good one bingo Abu Garcia and now this is more or less of a 1000 series right here. The, is this Silver Max? This Silver Max, I think will do you 
a very good job. It's pretty smooth, feels pretty solid and durable. I've, I've actually fished with the Sienna. Haven't fished with this one. This is a very good reel, and I'm pretty sure this is too. A boot, they make a solid product. But then you're gonna step up a little bit more with the 3986. So it's not a huge jump, but if you're balling on a super tight budget, well, hold on. Let's scoot on down. Okay, this might be in the wrong place. Okay, it was in the wrong place. So you got 2954. So you still in you still you actually saving a couple of pennies. You actually saving a couple of pennies over the $29 Shimano. Just a few, but hey, when you ball on a budget, everything counts. You gotta count your pennies. Now we're in the line department. And I prefer braids. Power Pro is my beginning. This is what I started out right here with. Power Pro braid, 10 pound, two pound diameter. That is 10 pound strength with the diameter of that string being the width of two pound test. So it's gonna be very small, very small profile in the water column. You, you can get away with this um, almost disguising itself in the water. And the, and the smaller the line you put on your reel, you can uh, make the bait look more realistic. So the heavier line, it restricts some of the movement. Lighter line gives you more action, more motion under the water. So you have a better chance of making a fish believe it's real with smaller line. That's why a lot of people go with braid and plus the, the strength of it is, um, it surpasses monofilament. But braid will not give you the stretch. Braid has no stretch, has no memory. So if you roll some braid up, it can uh, conform to whatever you put it around. It's not like monofilament where it can retain uh, its memory and keep the shape that it gets bind up in or whatever. But, okay, so Power Pro is an option. And then you have spider wire. I do not like spider wire based on the coating that they put on their uh, their wire. For tying knots, I've never had good good experience with tying knots on this. The knots usually will slip. That braid, that uh, Power Pro, that Power Pro, oh man, your knot's gonna be solid. And so if you're not a fan of braid, we're gonna roll on over to monofilament. Now, all monofilament is not created equally. I would suggest um, you stepping up to like maybe strand. Trilene is good. I use that on my on my bat on some of my bass rods, but I think strand will give you a better monofilament at a at a smaller diameter. Like you got some four pound tests. I started out I started out with four pound tests as well, y'all. You set that drag right, four pound test. It's phenomenal. You gonna get a fight and you gonna feel the whole experience. That's that's wonderful. Six pound, four pound test, something I recommend for crappie fishing. Um, I've even caught, you know, over two pound crappie fishing with four pound tests. It's nervous. You better have that net ready because you got a chance of losing that bad boy. So, but uh, those are my two options right there. Strand and the trilene on the line. All right, so we got the rod, we got the reel, we have your line. Let's get some accessories. All right, Walmart has a decent little crappie section. They have a nice assortment of baits and jig heads. And we're gonna start out with the, the jig heads. So they have a different variety of colors for you right here. And Arky makes a pretty decent jig head. They have nice hooks on them. And they have, you know, like I said, a variety of colors. And so I started out with a 1 16th ounce jig head. That's a smaller jig head. And as I started fishing, you know, later in the years, I, I you know, gravitated to a 1 8th ounce jig head, which is a bigger, bigger weight, heavier, helps you get down to the bottom faster. And all situations don't call for a 1 8 ounce, but I primarily fish with a 1 8 ounce jig head. And it's basically your preference. It's, it's gonna, it's gonna uh, 
I guess go for your feel and how sensitive your uh, your hands are to to the bite or to you jigging. And so I can fish with a 1 16th ounce, but I, I just like that 1 8th ounce feel. And sometimes I'll go from 1 16th uh, to 1 32nd ounce, 1 64th. I, I mean, I can fish them all the way across the board, but I, I usually stick with the 1 8th ounce jig head. And so you got your jig head options over here with your Arky. You can uh, use a, you can use a unpainted jig head or colored. It's your choice. All right, guys, we got this. This section right here is for your advanced crappie fishermen right here. Now you got your panfish assassins. Oh man, I started out with these things. I had nothing but panfish assassins in my box because they work. I mean. I like to fish with what works and they work. And then you have your Bobby Garlands over here. I think the Panfish Assassins are more durable than Bobby Garlands. Bobby Garlands, they formulate that product to tear up and have you back in the store ASAP. They do have a, a, a wonderful product and I will not take that from them, but the durability is not there for me. For From a consumer standpoint, I'm not, I'm not happy with Bobby Garlands durability because I want to catch more fish with the bait I'm using you know, versus uh, having to change baits nonstop. But they got another um, selection of uh, jig heads over here for you, a bigger variety. So you might have to look around your Walmart to see if they have uh, baits and in, in, uh, tackle stashed in other areas. And so, but I definitely recommend these Panfish Assassins to start out with because they are phenomenal baits. Basically, we're going to kind of wrap this video up, and uh, but I'm going I'm to I'm end it off on a bonus tip. Keep you some of these Berkeley crappie niblets right here, guys. These things are phenomenal. When the bite gets tough, this is an added benefit to having your tackle box or your accessories to get it done for you because these have pulled me out a couple of tight spots. When those crappie didn't want to open their mouth up, and this dropped, dropped down to the water. They came on with it. I might have to buy that one. I think I broke it. But basically, guys, I just want to, you know, run over and show y'all a couple of things I started out with and uh, give you an idea of what you can buy at Walmart. You saw the prices on this stuff. I told you the prices on the rods and the reels. Uh, the Berkeley niblets are $3.96. And this is a short bottle. I like to buy. I like to buy the bottle that's like that tall. Gives you more of them. That way you won't have to keep running back and forth to the store. But hey, if y'all like this video, let me know and I'll just show you the progression of how my uh, gear and everything just increased over the years of the things that I bought. And I, I'll take it, the next video can be at Academy and then I'll go all the way to Bass Pro Shop to show you some higher end stuff along the way if you like this video so as always like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all on the water next time thank you for watching